Hey guys, welcome back to this week's vlog. Um, still a lot to do this week. So, plan is to get the King Penguin chick finished, which isn't really that much that far off. Um, just need to put the fur on the head and um, give the the wings a bit of a trim and then he'll be done uh, so yeah looking pretty good pretty happy with the way it's turned out really really soft as well so I'll get that done this week I reckon um, and kind of enjoyed making a penguin as well <laughs> so maybe I'll do more in the future not not as big because this is a big doll they wanted a, a big 50 centimeter replica so um yeah that's how it turned out uh next one is um to sew up the raccoon dog so it looks a bit blur at the moment um need to sew up the back end and i'll just sort of refine everything once i get the fur applied to the face so i can um make sure it looks okay if it's a bit too chunky in areas um i can uh, just do a bit more refining with the with sewing um, but yeah I want to just get everything together first and see what it looks like so um, sometimes it's easier to do it that way um, and yeah so I've got the two flying foxes as well that need some faux fur applied um, and they're, re they're really close to being finished so I hope to get them finished at some point either this week or I'm, I start my holidays next week so um, I have a lot more time to finish things um <clears throat> so yeah hopefully i can get those two done as well and send them off to their the customers um also prairie dog uh the body is all ready i i think i said in my last vlog i had to do some modifying to the armature which i'll do a video for my patrons for my patron patreon um about what i did but um so Prairie Dog is ready to be put together as well. Um, the bongos, I want to do the bongos at the same time. Um, so I'm doing a little bit of a different technique for the bongos. Um, and yeah, it'll take a little bit longer because they've got stripes in their body. So I'll have to sew the stripes in. Um, so it'll be a little bit more time consuming these bodies. But then we've got the Sitatunga, which is the same deal. Um, but I think I can get away with not painting and applying the faux fur, but we'll see when I get around to that one. <clears throat> and then I'll have to do the life-size replica sculpts of the bongo as well, so that shouldn't take too long. Uh, I think the moulding and casting will take the longest. Um, and yeah, we'll see what we can get done. Uh, yeah, so that's the plan for this week. So, a fair bit to do. Um. I can hear water. Um, what else? Yeah, so that's the plan for this week. And, um, yeah, let's see how much I can get done.
for today um got a fair bit of work done yesterday so i managed to put together my prairie dog i adhered the neck to the head yesterday so i left that to dry overnight so it's nice and secure and i can start adding some stuffing and sewing it up to look like a prairie dog it's coming along um so that'll be probably be on the agenda for today is some sewing the prairie dog um next i have my king penguin chick that i have applied some faux fur to let it dry for a day or two now it needs a trim uh just the face area needs a bit of a trim just to make it look like a penguin and not a fluffy fluff um but it's looking really good um i'll show you at the end of the vlog what it looks like um and that's one one more doll down for the Calgary Zoo so it's uh, all coming together now as soon as I get the prairie dog done that's three dolls done um, and then I can start concentrating on all of the antelope ones so um, yeah hoping to I'm on holidays now from work so I've got um, a bit more time to do things I've got four weeks off so I really want to concentrate on getting all these commissions done um, so the next concentration phase is doing the bongos I uh, really want to get these done because I'm excited to um, actually have these finished They're a really cool looking little critter uh, so yeah really really looking forward to doing these ones and having them finished I think they're really cool and that means you know I'd really like to start doing more little critters like this because I'm getting a few comments about um, you know people are really happy to see or art dolls that are being made of lesser known animals so that was my that was really my my goal with doing these lesser known animals and especially really lucky to be working with Calgary Zoo as well to do these critters. Um, I really really like the projects and, and I'm really glad they chose me to do it. Um, so I think it's really opened like an avenue up for for my work and where I want to go with my work as well. So I really want to concentrate on yeah doing, doing more animals um, I think and I just the fantasy thing is just not really I don't know, it's just not really doing it for me anymore at the moment. I'm sure it'll come back around and I'll still do the one-off fantasy creature, but I think it's just the fantasy creature's been done to death, I think. Um, so I kind of want to just go in a different direction, I guess. And there's just not... The more... As the years go by, there's more and more artists popping up and it's just like fantasy, fantasy, fantasy. And I just want to steer away from that. So there's not a lot of real animal realistic animals like specialists around so that's kind of where I want to go and I want to also like you know teach people about these animals because they're important as well um so you know a lot of people didn't know what a bongo was you know, a lot of people didn't know what a shoe bill was um even though it's not finished but yeah I, I just um yeah really want to do that it's uh something on the to-do list um so yeah also what are we doing? The commission for the raccoon dog is almost finished. Uh, needs a bit of a trim. See how it looks. It might be a bit chunky. Um, so I'll ask the customer if they want it a bit thinner because you can get like raccoon dogs that have the winter coat and they're really fluffy and then raccoon dogs that have like the summer coat and they're not as fluffy. So um, yeah, I'll give it a trim. See how it looks. Ask the customer if they want it a bit small, a bit thinner. That's no problem. I can just hand sew areas. Um, it's easier to uh, hand sew areas to make them smaller than make them bigger. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then uh, Flying Fox Commissions, the two of them, are very almost done. I've applied the faux fur to one. So all I need to do is trim that and then that's ready to go, um, to go home, which is really good. Uh, the customer's been really patient as well. 
And then the other one is the grey flying fox with the rust coloured neck. So I need to apply the faux fur to the head and just do a couple of little things to it. And then that's also ready to go home. Um, and uh, yeah, still working on the six other flying foxes. The sewing is a killer, but um, the doing in the wings the way I've been doing them has made it a lot easier on my fingers to sew. I've still got like this weird callus on my finger from the from the from the needle um but yeah i guess that's just going to be there forever <laughs> um it's like hard as <laughs> and uh yeah lots of sewing to do but obviously that's on the back burner um sculpting wise i need to sculpt the sitatunga head and the bongo antlers um but I'm going to leave the bongo antlers till last. Um, so maybe the Sitatunga I'll sculpt. I have to do a little bit of studying on the anatomy, anatomy of the Sitatunga and see how much similar. Because um, maybe I can use the same the same hooves that I used um, that are originally for my deer. But uh, yeah, I'll have to check out what their hooves look like so they're anatomically correct. Um... And then, yeah, so progress, progress, it's coming along. And, uh, yeah, excited to get it done. Anyway, let's get to work. done I got a lot done this past week um, I finished up quite a few of things well not quite finished I need like little bits and pieces but um, I s did a lot of work on the um, raccoon dog commission uh, pretty happy with the way it turned out it's really cute um, but I'm gonna ask the customer if they wanted a bit thinner because it's, it's really fluffy I left it fluffy just to make sure because raccoon dogs have like this short little fluffy body so I mean I made it a little bit thinner but um, yeah I left it longer and I'm just gonna send some photos to the customer and ask if they want it a bit tr a bit more trimmed um, but if not I can start adding some little whiskers and that's pretty much done I added um, some little markings last week as well so they're all nice and dry uh, try to integrate them into the black fabric that I used so I think it worked quite well um, I think it integrated well um, it's got a really cute little face um, it's got a nice little look is it gonna concentrate it's got a nice little look in its eyes um, and you can sort of play around with the fluff here to make it um, have a bigger face or you can have a thinner face um, so yeah I purposely made the sculpture underneath thinner so you could do have that um, play so yeah um, yeah so I'm gonna take some just some quick snaps of it and uh, send it to the customer and see if they want it trimmed or not but yeah really cute I, can't, I really like this little one uh, it's a good size too I like um, I kind of like making dolls this size, I just always end up oversized, but um, unless I'm making something to size. But yeah, like 
I like it. Uh, so that's the first one. Um, Prairie Dog has been put together. Um, I just need to sew it all up. So yeah, armatures in. I haven't done any sewing. So what I did was attach the neck to the head and I left that to dry so it's nice and secure. And then I can start sewing it all up. Um, so it won't take long to sew up and finish. And once it's um, once it's all sewn, because it's still really loose, put some stuffing in, and then apply some fur to the head and the feet, and then uh, yeah, pretty much done. I'm going to be adding a little bit more yellowy orange tones to it, just to um, give it that prairie dog colour. But this fur fur is a really good base tone um, for it anyway. So yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I might do that with a brush, but. I will, um, yeah, probably put it over on my Patreon, anyway. Um, and the armature will be over on my Patreons for what I did on that Prairie Dog as well, so probably, probably next month I'll put it up. Um, and yeah, so hopefully have a few things up in that month. Uh, also, 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 finished the... King Penguin Chick, super happy with the way it turned out. Um, I like, uh, I like it. <laughs> so it was meant to be a, well not meant to be, it's, uh, they, the zoo requested a 50 centimetre, 50 centipede, oh centipede, <laughs> 50 centimetre uh, replica of um, a King Penguin Chick. So it's roughly 50 centimetres. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out really well. I like, I really like the way the face turned out. Um, added some, uh, you know, some colouring around to the eye area and here and added some colouring to where the ear is. Uh, same deal on the other side. Just blended it all in and added that colouring to where the ear is. Um, but yeah, super happy with the way it turned out. It's really, really soft. Um, they wanted something that sort of replicated the feathers and I thought this fabric was the best one that I could get that would replicate uh, the look of King Penguin Chick feathers. So um, yeah, I think it turned out really well. It worked out pretty well. I think the colour might be a tad orange, I guess, or a tad rust, but um, I guess that's just it was either it's too light or this one which was the closest one I could do um, but yeah I think it gives a good um, impression of feathers anyway but yeah so they should be happy with that uh, it does it stands on um, it does stand on the two legs really well and um, yeah so that's one more down uh, hopefully the prairie dog I get done this week, so I'm on I'm on holidays, and um, so I'll have a lot more time to do things. Uh, one of the flying fox commissions, so just a couple of little bits and pieces um, that I need to do, but it is pretty much finished. I just want to try and get all this fur off the wings, um, so I have a little roller, and I'll just one of those sticky rollers, um, and yeah, so I did the little. The, I did the little um, claws, um, the wings move really well, I think they move a little bit better than um, what I was doing before, I still have to sort of be a little bit more careful, but yeah, I think they're a bit more durable. The matter me? Um, yeah, so I added the faux fur to the head, so it integrates nicely, I have a little friend. <laughs> friend here. It's gonna kick me off the seat. Um, and yeah, so I reckon that will be ready to send out probably this week. I'll send, take some pictures, send them to the customer. Um, I mean, it's exactly the same as the, um, the other black one I made. Uh, just wings are different, but yeah, so I can send them out um, when they're happy with it. So yeah. But I do have six more, like I've, I've been working on six more, like I've been saying. Um, one is a black one, uh, so hopefully I can get a fair bit of sewing done on them this week. Um, so, yes, if you do want a black one, it's coming. Um, but if you really, really want it, uh, I have early access available over on my Patreon if you want 
if you don't want to miss out. So you can just say, shoot me a message, join the Patreon, any tier, shoot me a message and uh, which, with which colours you like. Um, and uh, yeah, I can make a listing for you in my shop and uh, you won't miss out. But yeah, so this one's pretty much done, ready to be sent out soon. The grey one that I'm working on, the grey commission, almost done as well. I've, um, I need to give the head a trim. So, yes, it's almost done. I just need to give the head a trim. Um, I've done all the wings. I uh, just like to go over some things with um, just the tidy up. And um, yeah, so this one should be ready to go as well. And, yeah, really cool. So a bit of a fluffy head, you can't really tell at the moment, but <laughs> um, yeah, so once that's been trimmed, I can start cleaning it all up and um, just go over with some paint, some more paint with the black, and uh, yeah, finish it off. So that'll be another one done. Getting a fair bit done, which is really cool. Um, same deal with the wings, liking the way it's turning out, so. Uh, and then yeah, so I can start working on um, the bongos as well and some more sculpting as well. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, I reckon I'll end it there for this week and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Like I said, you can join my Patreon for early access and a whole heap of other things. I'll have a Patreon video coming up soon. Uh, on my YouTube that well, I'm just going to detail about all the stuff that you get on my Patreon because um, I changed a couple of things not too long ago so I just wanted to do a video on um, you know what you get over there and uh, yeah thanks to my patrons for supporting me um, I appreciate it in these weird times <laughs> um, and uh, yeah hopefully I get some more things up on there in the coming months and yeah anyway Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Creatures of Nat, my shop, creaturesofnat.com. And uh, yeah, catch you in the next one. Bye.